Welcome back to Dirt to Daytona, folks. Today we've got Daytona International Speedway, the night race. It's our Halloween race. So we've made the car be Halloween colors. Um, we didn't win the 500. We haven't done well on big tracks. We've had some issues. Let's not do that now. Let's get out here and win the lesser than the 500 Daytona race. Ah, either we do good or we don't. All right, here we go, though. Qualifying lap now underway. We have two shots at this, so... Let's see what we can do with it. I just set it at advanced and fixed the offset, so gear ratio is not going to be great. We may, uh, we may qualify 46, 47 seconds. I don't know. Weird. Yeah, because when I do this, well, no, 96, right, right under 97. We almost got to 97. I felt it. We might be okay. That I screwed up. I got a little vibration, which slowed us down too much. It's that touchy here, folks. That touchy. Real sensitive. It's the one that counts. Yeah, okay. Okay. So we are... It's okay. Time's all right. For some reason, I thought it was 44. So I didn't run any practice laps over here. What do you... You never let off the brakes. Like, or never let off the gas. It doesn't matter. There's no need for me to... Worry about... Driving around the track... At top speed the whole time. Oh, we hit the 197 that time, so that's good. That's not good, though. That's going to cost us. That's going to cost us a lot, actually. Shoot. Oh, well. Trying to get the most out of it, and I didn't do well. Oh, we did better than we did the last time, but we didn't qualify pole, so... Oh my god, we qualified last. Ha! Huh, what? Holy crap. Well, the qualify. All right, we're not going to leave because obviously, even if we had done well, we weren't going to qualify well. We'll drive up through the pack like we did at the 500. It's just weird. Now you don't get to see the cool car. Oh, wait. There it is right there. Purple and lime green. I love the combo. Orange on the crown. Lime green ooze drooling off instead of the blood that normally is. Fantastic. Let's race. Welcome to the Sunshine State and the birthplace of NASCAR, Daytona Beach, Florida. Since 1959, a driver's career can be made or broken at Daytona International Speedway. The two and a half mile trioval has served as a proving ground for some of the greatest names in racing. 31 degrees of banking in the turns and incredible speeds on the straightaways have led to the inclusion of restrictor plates here. Aerodynamic drafting has become a must-have skill in order to stay with the pack and master Daytona. All right, well, we're starting from the back. Good news, can't, can't do any worse than we currently are. Other good news, we, we aren't a last place car. We just have to... We're going to take a little bit of time here. There's no reason for us to go psycho about it. Why is Fanta riding us up the track? I literally came off the gas because of him. Laguerre dropping back. He went to try to create a third lane. Did not work for him. We need to... Still there. Need to stay in Mike Max draft, I think, to get us up to speed because otherwise we're going to lose the pack and that wouldn't be good. Still there. Of course, I'm going to touch that. Why? Why not? I could have tightened the car up a little bit. I didn't. Stay low. Still there. There goes Laguerre. So even Laguerre is faster than us. Uh, seems off. Okay, we'll ride with him. Get the speed we need. Car is real, real, real touchy. 80 lap race. 30 in the tank. Two stop race. Or 29 in the tank, but I think it's 30. Yeah, we're now... Wow. Okay. 
Here I'm like, oh, we'll just drive up through the pack. Apparently I'm wrong. I mean, there's ways yeah, we'll get up there, there, but... We're not in last yeah, place. Uh, huzzah. All clear. We're catching the pack now. Mike Max only five tenths in front of us, which means we'll be in his draft coming out of here pretty heavily and be able to catch up on the back stretch quite a bit, I'm sure. Just have to stay with him. There we go. I mean, everyone was within less than a second of each other, so needless to say, this is the real. Why? I was absolutely there. I even came off the gas when I saw him doing it, and I still ran into him because I was there. Spychala is kind of a dick for that move. Still there. And he's definitely going to slow us down, so I didn't like that. See if I can get into, like, maybe Borland's draft and have him pull me up in front of some of these guys or at least on the side of them. Okay, so apparently I'm invisible today. Because Mac drove down on us as well. Oh, and he's going to hug the inside too. Oh, bastard. They are very aggressive. Like, blocking and stuff. That's how it feels, at least. Let's see if I can get down into his fender. Yes, we can. All right, so a couple spots up. It's going to take us probably the whole run to even get near the front. But I think that happened in the last Daytona race, didn't it? We got up front, and then we had the mechanical issues. And then I got real frustrated and just said screw it on the whole race because I didn't want to drive around without power steering. Yeah, that, rem that I, re I remember that. Trying to stay in uh, Bobby Labonte's draft. Clear low. It has sucked up. Got in a few spots, but well, nine. I can see. I think it's is that Ward Still Burton there. leading up there. Looked like it maybe. Could have been. Tony Stewart's not up there. I can see him just a little bit ahead of us. Hold your line. A nice move Clear there. Low. Maybe a nice run here up on the side of the 161. Come on. Not. I mean, I was there, but I wasn't really as we were there to touch him, but not there to get any kind of a block or get any kind of like right now. If he drove up on us, it'd be stupid. But him coming down when he Stay did, he there. miscalculated a little bit, but it wasn't wasn't that terrible. Carlo. Had to come off the gas a little bit as to not run into uh, Hamilton. Now we got. John Daly trying to move up the track to get through, and I don't want it. I don't want it happening. Why are they keep they feel I feel like I'm being crowded. And I'm not a fan of it. Ooh, oh, oh, what a move. What a move. Clear high. For how loose I was at the beginning, we're tight now. I don't know if we've got an actual damn yeah, we've got some arrow damage that might be part of it. I'm serious. It's got to be a tiny amount. We haven't hit anybody or anything real hard, but we bumped maybe a little harder than regular. Stay high. Still there. Still there. Staying with Wallace right now, getting in front of Schrader. All clear. I'd love to uh, off the gas, off the gas. It's gonna. I was trying to get to the split, and now I'm just gonna get in behind Stewart. Oh, he's a little slower. Let me get on the inside of him and take uh, Schrader and use Harvick up there as well for some of that draft. There we go. We're moving up, folks. 20 spots now. About to be 21. Still there. Certainly is, I guess, a lot better than just being out front, huh? 
Whoa, whoa, look at how tight we just got. No vibration in the controller either. That was weird. Just really tight. Still there. I'm gonna come off the gas again. Partially because we are, yeah, we're just super tight now, Still which there. it's gotta be the arrow because we were so so Clear loose in the beginning. Eye. Gotta be the arrow damage. Which I mean, I guess we can look. And see how much we have. It's got to be below 3%. We barely tapped the car in front of us when we got it. Oh, it's 7. Wow. That's actually really surprising. Still there. That's a lot more than I thought it was. Is that Echo River? Holy crap. Look at him up here. Running the top 20. Hold your line. Oh, I don't want to be here. Back out of it a little bit. I'm gonna run off this corner. There we go. Maybe another one. Still there. Oh, Steve Park. A little bit. We got into him just a little bit, but we're alright. Trying to grab onto Dale Jarrett's draft here. Get us up to Borland or uh, Park oh, River. Sorry, Echo River. I always say Park. I don't know what got me to do that, but once I started, it's been real hard to stop. This is what this track is made for. A lot of drafting. Only way you're getting up through it, which is awesome. Just uh, hate that we had to start at the back. I mean, I guess it's not so bad because starting at the back is a lot better for the content. You know we didn't do that on purpose, though. I actually thought we were going to get like a 44-second lap. I guess I was wrong. It just looked slow, but I guess, I, I guess it's not. We're running mid 45s now, but we're up in 15th place, and we're not we're not making huge gains here. And Dreddy, he had some trouble in last week's race, trying to push Marlin up to in front of him, but right on his bumper, which is preventing us from even barely getting to 200 miles an hour. There we go. Get on the inside of Marlin. Up to Andretti's bumper. Just kind of stick onto him a little. Ooh, maybe move him out of the way a little. That wasn't intentional. And it's not going to benefit us because we didn't have a run when we did it. We had barely gotten to his bumper with the draft at that point. Whoa. Nothing I could do. Nothing I could do. That's going to kill us, isn't it? That's what I like to call the big one. We'll be pitting. <laughs> wow. That was... I got tight. I was running into him. That was that. Like, I don't really know what else to say. Obviously, that was on me. And it's unfortunate, but... We just got tight going up the hill, and by the time we were on him... I came off the gas. It was too late. We'll pit. We'll see you after the caution. Starting from the back again. Oh, you know, we went in. We got our service. And uh, we, we start again. It was an unfortunate situation. Good news. Nobody out of the race. And actually, up, up there is where uh, Atwood is. He went to the pit, got fixed up, got back on the track. No harm, no fault. No Honestly. Bad. I'm telling you what. I have my car straight there. I'm going to get smashed right. into car low. Clear low. Oh, that's going to affect us. How bad is it? I don't know. No what bad. I do know is that's going to affect us heavily. Just trying to get up to speed here, guys. Just trying to get up to speed with a busted ass back end now. We lost the group. 
get around these guys. Still there. Probably pretty easily. I don't know. Looks like the 131 is damaged in the front and the back. Still there. So that's, you know. Oh, come on. I'm tapping on the Still analog there. stick to make a slight move in to get in front of him. And then all of a sudden we make a huge move and I got to get out of it. It's annoying. That's all. Um, Not a lot of cars AI. hit. I didn't want to be All off clear. schedule, but here I am. Wow, I am just sucking right now. I apologize to all my viewers out there for my absolute suckage on this track. I am just... I just drive it down too low. That's what I'm doing every time. It'd be awesome if I could catch Newman. Oh, I'm going to catch Newman. He's out of it for some reason. He's having issues, I would say. He's so far out of it right now that Borland is out of reach for me. So I'm not even going to stick with him. I'm going to stick with the fast car that's on the inside, see if we can get up to some kind of speed here. And even with him, even with Justice pushing us, we're not getting any enough speed to catch that pack up there. We'll get in front of Newman. He's got damage. He's running real slow. I wonder if he was, like, one of the cars involved. I mean, there were a lot of cars involved in that wreck. We were up in the top 15. So, you know. I guess, uh, well, I don't know. It looks like we got another car coming out of it. I don't know if they're looking at, well, they're obviously not looking at pit because, well, they might be. They might have a blown engine or something. They are running, that's Kenseth running super slow. We got cars that were up there that keep dropping back. Sort of out of it. Here comes Hermie Sadler. Nobody, we got, yeah, nobody is pitting. We're not catching them up there. 24 in the tank. I guess now probably is a better time than ever to speed things up for our first time because we're not going to catch them. So we'll just speed it up until they pit or until we're about to pit again. And then we'll bring it back on the mic with you at that point.
right, we're gonna pit this time around. I know it seems crazy that we did that with all the damage and we were within the window of pitting to only have to pit one more time. But I came to the realization I pit at the end of this run. I should get our stuff together and I pit at the end of this run. We only go for a quick stop and go, and that's how we get back in this race. Yeah, we're leading right now, but we're about to be potentially a lap down from all these other cars. They've all, they've all made up half or more of the time that they were down on us, so it's a risk that I had to take. It's the strategy I wanted to go with. Have the opportunity to uh, get off the track here. Not die. Slow down. Ah! Okay. <laughs> so we'll pit. We'll fix the car. It'll take a little extra time. We'll get back on the track and uh, we'll play this thing out, hoping that we end up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I didn't fix the wedge. So the next time we pit should be with eight to go. And as long as we don't screw anything up majorly here. We should be able to just do a gas and go. Which is how we're going to make up our time. Where these cars, they're going to pit with... They're going to pit in the next 10 laps, except for Andretti here. He's not. He'll pit around the same time we do. So I'm really hoping I can use his draft. But And that's the difference. I don't know if all the cars will do a gas and go, but we're definitely in gas and go range. I know only a third of the race we have to will have left or a third of a run so we'll literally just put gas in the car and get back on the track as long as we keep it clean through this run um, you know I, I'll, I'll admit I made two mistakes I got tight I could have slammed on the brakes I just you know we're around all those other cars I hit the brakes it's, there's a chance I'm going to get wrecked anyway I played it the way I played it and it caused a caution the next thing you know I mess up and I end up getting run into in my rear end pretty bad, and that really screwed us up. And that's what caused the rest of the damage because we were messed up from the rear end damage. So we're running back here in 38th place. A little familiar from the Daytona 500, but it's if this plays out well. We won't be in a bad spot. Now, are we a lap down? I'll check in just a second. No, we are not. So if a caution were to come out. We have a chance to also just drive our way up through the pack. Do I want a caution to come out? Absolutely not. I want this to run out the way it's going to run out and just see how it's going to go. That's honestly what I want to have happen in this race. We've got a fully functional car right now. The pit crew did a great job of getting us fixed up. And now we just need to run out these laps and let things go the way they're going to go. Hopefully... When we go to pit the next time, we'll be in a perfect position to just stop and go. Just quick run right through the pit and go. And because we have a fully functional car, we shouldn't lose a bunch of time to the cars around us like we were doing with an all smashed up car on the last run. So that's where I'm at. That's where my mind is at. And I'm hoping, well, Owen Justice is weird. Like, I feel like he should be able to just stick with us. He got up to our bumper. We got some draft from him, and then he dropped way back. So I don't know what... I don't know why that happened. But I don't like it, because I need him. Need a drafting partner. Uh, earlier, when I let them go before I messed up again and hit the wall and wrecked the right side of the car, uh, I was letting him go because I think it was Hermie Sadler, maybe Blaney. I can't remember who it was, but... I let them go in front of me. The goal was to catch their draft because me pushing is faster than them pushing me. It didn't work out and everything went poorly. So that part sucked. The old Toyota Camry street me real good right now. I'm going to see if uh, Owen can get up in front of me Carlo. and I'll use him. push him we can get up to 98 or 99 with me pushing it'll be good or 200 or 201 Still there. take that any day stain his draft around the corner not drop all the way down to 191 maybe maybe keep it up i don't know yeah a couple miles so those are the things that matter 
see if I can just stick with him, just the two of us, and I can go ahead and not wreck him, and we'll see what we can do to Still there. to not get caught. I'm not I'm not so worried about trying to catch Andretti. I don't know if we can. The two of us together should be able to, but you know Daytona is weird in this game. But uh, what I what I hope for is that we're able to avoid having the cars behind us catch us. That's what I care about. Although we did pick up a tenth on Andretti there, so maybe we will be able to do it. Yeah, see, with me pushing, okay. we get up to 200. That's three miles an hour faster than I can do alone. So it's good. It's very good for us. And we're staying two miles an hour faster through the corner with him on the bumper. And we are technically gaining on Andretti. We've gained another tenth on him. So we'll stick with okay. Justice. Okay, that I didn't like. That was on me, I think. But it's all right, because we're still with him. I just need to be real... Oh, I just can't. a little the analog stick real real touchy in Daytona Daytona and Talladega all right though this is me trying okay. to well it's not he's fading up the track and I'm trying to stay with him I hate that they do that like stay in the middle and then drop down now he's just living in the middle and uh out. Yes, 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 yes. The yellow coming out is big for us. And that'll Go put us clear. back. Everyone back up in the pack. We are on the lead lap. I uh, don't think we can pit for the final time unless there's under 29 laps. If there's 29 laps or under, we pit for the last time right now and we're done. I'll let you know after this caution. We've got 27 laps to go. We've got 27 in the tank. We are on the lead lap in 33rd position. And, folks, we've got a chance to drive our way up to the front by the end of this race. And we could win it. We just have to be smart, get not get stuck in any slower packs. And I don't think we're going to get stuck in a slower pack this time. Everyone's pretty, pretty close up to each other. So unless... Uh, I don't know. I guess we're, we're about to find out, but there's a big clog in front of us. That's not great. We're also not nearly up to speed yet. Here comes Andretti looking for a spot around us. Let's see if he's going to stay on the high side. He chooses to stay on the high side as Ryan Numa gets up to us. We're up to speed now. And here we get a big run off. We're going to try to get up on side. Ooh, I had to be very careful there. Ferris up in front of us, and I had to feather the gas as to not uh, run through him. Car high. And he is pushing me down. That's not what we're going to accept here, Ferris. Tried to drive me down on the apron. Love the paint scheme. Hate the act. Clear high. He's not a fan of that at all. We've moved up 10 spots already. That's a good sign. But if you recall last time, even when we got to 15th place, even though we got to the wreck, we kind of also had stalled out. We got to 20th, and it took a while once we got to 20th Still there. to get in front of everybody. So this is it gets harder the farther up you get, that's for sure. Oh, no, no, no. Stay. Don't, don't wreck. There. Don't wreck. You're wrecking. I barely touched him. Oh, maybe he won't hit anybody, and There's it'll just be fine. Hopefully it'll be fine. We're still a little loose, and that's why that happened. I just tapped his front end with my rear end. I guarantee it doesn't even register on the car. Okay, so it registers. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like it, but I guess it did. Need to... I need to get a run on the inside. That's really what I need to do. Boiler staying on the in or river staying on the inside though can't do it that way. Not great. Elliot Sadler going Stay high, high, rubbing the Still wall. There. I don't know how that's going to affect him if it's going to slow him up. Stay high. Still there. I'm really trying my best just to be really gentle on the control right now. Also, come off the Still gas to not run through the body. And make that move. I got the room. I could tell I had the room that time. I made sure. It wasn't as close as it looked.
Uh, come on. Keep it freaking in place. Cars just everywhere. Everyone's so tight on the inside. I can't get, can't get a sword. There we go. Just give me that little hole. All I need to be able to pull up to the next two. Damn it. We're all right. Ah, Stuart, you, you sly devil, you. Clear high. Oh, and there's nowhere I can go. Oh, I can. I got the I got the space. You're oh, he clear. drove right down in front of me. Get it, get it, get it. Oof. Far high. We made our way up into the top all 15 clear. again. That was... Yeah, you got to make some certain aggressive moves. I don't want to be here. I want to back up a little and get behind him. I need to be on the inside to make these passes. He is just tight on the inside. That's not what we want. I need him to fade up. I don't know if he will with Atwood. Oh, shoot. There's Atwood. It's a replay of earlier. Top 15, and here comes Casey Atwood next to us. Oh, oh, oh. Portland dips out and gives us the go to get up on side of Marlin. Can we get up on side of Borland? No, we cannot. He'll cut us off. Not really, but he'll just dip in front of us. It was a big move, though, by him dropping Hello. down and helping Hello. us out to get in front of Marlin. Definitely happy about Hello. that. I'm going to stay on his back end here. And hope he Clear fades high. up at all. We can get some kind of a run. Skinner stays inside. Borland goes up to the middle. He's trying Hello. to come down on me. What is he doing? I was, I was fully there. That is not my fault. I was fully there, and he pushed down on me. Oh, jeez. Oh, we'll come out and we'll do it again. I didn't. I was 100% there. And he just drove down on me to try to push me down on the apron like that other car did earlier. Um, the 115. I don't. What am I. We're smoking. Oh, because we're at 238. Oops. But we'll pit and hopefully get another shot at it. All right, it's going to be 16 to go at the line, and we're going to run like a bat out of poopy. There's a lot of damaged cars on this track. Unbelievable. I just, I'm going to skip this. It says I'm the one that's damaged. I'm not. These cars off. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. What is happening here? Everyone just slammed on their brakes in front of me. We got ran into, so there. that's good. All clear. Car low. In the car, we've got clear to, high. we've got to get around Stewart right now. We've got to get around Stewart right now. Car low. Crap. We're going to lose that pack, aren't we? Car low. Car low. <laughs> What in the actual shit is happening here? Why? Why? I am invisible. My car is invisible on this track. Did Mike Wallace not just completely drive up and slam into me? Wow. All right. Well, we're going to pit again. and Because now we've got damage all over. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. Just a kind of a joke of a race, but it's all right. 12 laps left in the race. We're going to jump to the inside this time. There's the green flag. Let's see what we can do. I'm willing to sit on this apron. We're not going fast enough for it to matter anyway. Still there. there You're go. all clear. Need to get in front of some of these more damaged cars.
We're up into fourth gear. We're up into 17th place. 11 laps to go if we're at the line, not 12. My bad. You get around these cars as quick as humanly possible. A lot of damaged cars that just didn't get them fixed. All right. All clear. Look, I'll take blame for what I did to Atwood in the beginning of the race. That is the only caught one that I will take blame for. Oh, I'll take blame for the tail whip I did on... Oh, my goodness. How far ahead are those guys? Still there. I'll take blame for the tail whip I had on um, Kenny Schrader, too. You're all clear. I don't think I can catch them. I don't think I can get up to them. They got out so far in front of everybody that fast. Stay low. Still there. And we're a lot faster than these cars, so unless I can somehow catch one of their draft, Still there. I, I don't think we can catch them. Well, maybe we can. These guys seem to be getting a good run next to me, so I might be able to All use high. them. Maybe I can. I will. I mean, I'll gladly use once if we are able to get up to him. I don't know. Another caution Clear would be high. great now, huh? Crap. Still there. Kyle Bush, 1.4 seconds. If he could drop oh, back yeah. just a little bit, we'd be real happy. Otherwise, 10th is where we're going to live. We just don't have enough laps, otherwise that's my problem here. If I can get any speed off of the cars behind me, any kind of draft and push, it would be helpful. It's not going to happen. Oh, here he comes. Big run, going to come up on my outside instead of run with me. Let's see if I can do anything. Ugh. Car low. Okay, now the 161's got to run. If I can use clear. his draft at all. Ah, we're not going to catch him. It's such a helpless feeling that I just can't. I just don't have the speed to catch the cars in front of me. And the cars behind me don't have the speed for me to get behind them and push them up to him. That guy let him go. Here, I'll let you get in front of me and I'll push you. That's going to be bad when, yeah, I was going to say when Elliot Sadler gets there and I'm, as I messed up and didn't get behind him early enough. Let's see if I can push Sadler. Nope. Maybe. Come on, Sadler. We got to get these guys in seven laps. We're not, we're not even getting in front of the 161 car. Never had a chance. You're all clear. All right, well, we'll speed it up for the rest of the race. We only had one speed up in this race, so might as well run the rest of this one out, and we'll uh, we'll see you at the end of the race. Disappointing again.
Top five, Ricky Rudd, Rusty Wallace, Bobby Hamilton, Mark Martin, Kurt Busch. Notable Tony Stewart finished in 35th, so we should still have the lead. Ricky Rudd emerged victorious at Daytona on June 30th. We were not the real star. And with that, we are now 87 points in front of Tony Stewart. That is pretty nice for the championship. As we enter July, we have just one race, and that is going to be at New Hampshire International Speedway. That will be in the next episode, folks, but that will do it for this episode. I do want to take a moment out to say thank you so very much, like I always enjoy doing, because I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, and of course, as always, you take care.